Hello, I'm the Reverend Mandy Cartwright. I'm the Rector of the East Trent Group of Churches in Nottinghamshire. And we invite you to join with us on this Holy Week as from your own homes as we draw nearer to the cross on Good Friday and to the joy of the resurrection on Easter Day. So, if you wish, I invite you to pause for a moment and our leaders in a prayer to help us be calm and still. I weave a silence to my lips. I weave a silence to my mind. I weave a silence within my heart. I close my ears to distractions. I close my eyes to attractions. I close my heart to temptations. Calm me as you stilled the storm. Still me, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, beloved, in your peace. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise his presence with us. have a reading from John's Gospel. It's chapter 12 verses 20 to 36. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip who was from Bethsaida in Galilee and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate this life in the, this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to him, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not over.
overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. I don't know what brings you light at this time, but one thing that has cheered me up in these days of isolation is a yellow butterfly. This yellow butterfly flies in circuits around the house and brightens up the garden. I call out, look, here's the butterfly, as though it's a personal friend and as if it's always the same one. Butterflies transform our world and bring colour and joy into our lives. But they don't live very long. Larger ones may last a month, smaller ones just a week. And I don't know where my yellow one fits. Today we remember that Jesus was well aware that he would die and his life would be a short one. He was about 33 years old when he died and his work of travelling, teaching and healing lasted about three years, that's all. We might cry out against the brevity of that precious life and the injustice of his death. But we rejoice too that none of it was wasted. The world was transformed through the life and death of Jesus, who gave himself for others and whose love was so perfect that it brought about new resurrection life. While we are locked into this pandemic, we cry out against the loss of life and we weep for young lives which are being cut short. While we read or hear this, Lives are being lived out of love for others. This is sacrificial love which can transform our world. This week and always, may we live our lives in love and in the light and hope of new life. Our thoughts are with all those who suffer through the coronavirus and for all those who are working hard and sacrificially to care and provide for them. So let us pray. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, Give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer of blessing. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. So, stay safe, stay well, and God bless you.